Hi, my name is Eddie Fort. I'm with PD&M General Contractors. I'm here this morning with Wayne Toller of Toller Insulating out of Lynchburg, Virginia, and we're talking about changing of the residential energy codes and what it means when it comes to air tightness. Wayne, what kind of questions are you getting from your builders? Well, Eddie, questions that I get so often are, how are we going to get down to three air changes per hour at 50 pascals when we're at five now? My answer is we can still use fiberglass and mineral wool products to meet the three air changes. With the two of us, we know what has to be done. And so today what we're going to be doing is showing some of the measures that we take, such as top plates, all your penetrations, your duck boots, mm -hmm. a common wall between the house and the garage, and also sealing the bands up, which has a lot of air leakage in those areas. And just like with any construction, preparation is a key to a good product at the end. So by sealing before we're putting the insulation in, you've already taken a major step towards making this house as energy efficient as possible. Absolutely. We only got one chance to get it right, don't we? Yes, sir. So Wayne, I want to look at the top five areas that you just mentioned. And if we can, let's start off with the top plate air sealing. Well, Eddie, the top plate is where we're going to get a lot of gain. And so that's a crucial area. So we'll be caulking all the way around the top plate. And so what that'll do is we're going to be able to bring it down approximately 1.6 ACH at 50. Excellent. Our next important area to go to would be the recessed can locks. Well, Wayne, we have two primary penetrations of the roof ceiling. One is the recessed can lights like you talked about, and the second one are uh, hanging fixture boxes like you see these black boxes here. With the black boxes, once the drywall is applied, we're going to go ahead and caulk around that. Yeah. With the recessed lights, you can see the new can lights that we're using here. They have a gasket that are already on the housing itself. Then once the drywall gets in installed, we will then put on the trim kit. The trim kit has a second gasket. The second gasket then creates a complete seal against the drywall, creating the air barrier for us. So that's how we handle the roof penetrations. Now let's go look at the floor and see what we do there. Okay. So what we're looking at here is a floor register, but the process is the same for a ceiling register. What our HVAC contractor does is they mastic the boot itself to the subfloor. And then I know from being downstairs that your mechanical contractor run mastic around the duct and the boot where it comes together. Every joint. Yes. And, and how much leakage does that save us? We can usually save about 0.2 ACHs by doing this. Uh, that's what we're talking about. Yes, sir. As we come down on the lower level here, what we'll talk about and demonstrate is the air sealing on these long runs all the way around the perimeter. Absolutely. So, Eddie, what we have going on here is we have caulked up at the top where the floor and the two befores meet. Right. And then underneath that two before to, to air seal that up. What this will do for us is approximately about 0.4 air changes that will reduce that in doing a good job. So Wayne, here we are at the fifth potential area of concern, that being the party wall between the garage and the house. How do you address this issue? Well, we address it just like we do the rest of the house by caulking the top plate, mm -hmm. bottom plate, uh, all of your jack studs and king studs, sealing any penetration that's going through the floor or through the top plate. We'll get those also, but it gives us an added opportunity that we can work both sides right. of that wall. So what that does for us, Eddie, is it brings us down our ACHs approximately about 0.2. Very good, very important part of the house. When you combine the five top priority areas of air sealing, that will bring the level down approximately 2.6 air changes, which should get us within the code of three air changes per hour. With proper insulation behind it. Exactly, grade one rest net standards. Absolutely, thank you Wayne. Hey, thank you Eddie. There you have it, the top five locations to air seal to help you achieve the newest energy code requirements. For details on any of these top five air sealing locations, the new codes, and why insulation type has very little impact on air infiltration, visit insulationinstitute.org.